administration uh, that is on crime analyzing and management system for Sri Lanka, Sri Lankan police. Uh, so uh, it was called, quoted by uh, uh, Sutaran and uh, Vidhanagam again. So Sutaran is going to present the uh, paper. So Sutaran is a final year undergraduate student following Bachelor of uh, Science uh, degree at the Department of Information Technology, Faculty of Computing, General Sir John Kathalawar University. He worked as a part-time software engineer at Bellan uh, uh, Vintage Private Limited. Uh, currently he is uh, working as an uh, intern information security engineer at Sri Lanka Computer Emergency Readers Team and International Movement for Community Development. He, uh, his research interests are cyber and data security, data science, artificial intelligence, and machine learning. So you can start your presentation. I am Simon Nadam Sudarshan from the from this university. Today my research topic is uh, crime analysis and management for Sri Lankan police. And my supervisor is Lucian Tigitana Gama from the same university. Let's start the, our discussion presentation with a video. Approaching police may be intimidating. Use of 
resources in Sri Lanka to provide an automated system to assist Sri Lankan police and national security agencies in the evaluation and application of new management information uh, systems technology in the own jurisdictions including the analysis of crime data and patterns. These are the contents. And uh, when we see that Sri Lanka police crime statistics show that around 36,000 crimes have been recorded for the last year. Prediction of the trends cannot be under for the 100 percentage, but the prediction of trends and patterns can help to identify the probability of the crimes and its occurrence. The proper handling of systems centralized database will allow the functions such as crime report generation and statistical analysis of data. This is the graph. Around the 36,000 crimes were recorded for last three years, you can see. The approach that uh, collecting the primary data is a very difficult task because the most of the crimes are not recorded and the recorded crimes are in a manual format. And uh, I got a chance to meet police officers regarding, uh, regarding to see, regarding, and I had a chance to see bundles and bundles of case files which has to be analyzed and reported. And some officers sitting with the yellow highlighters with sticky notes and taking notes by referring the case files. They write something on the sticky notes and put it on the board and it says uh, the last robbery was held in this particular place and like those kinds, like those uh, methods they are using for analysis of the crimes. These are the literature review. That means uh, I uh, came across with a lot of researchers uh, uh, from many developing countries and also the developed countries. I classified into four uh, main systems, computerized crime systems for dealing with the crimes, compliance management system and re crime reporting system, existing crime investigation and analysis techniques, crime investigation system using biometric approach. Uh, using those four systems, concluded that that these three systems have are using the uh, technological advanced software system, and those are computerized crime system for dealing with threats. Then you can see investigation system using biometric approach and crime investigation and analysis techniques. The key points identified is. Uh, that techniques can help to solve the vast amount of crime data and to make an effective administrative decisions during the identification of the primary survey, strength and weakness, and critically analyze the proposed system, the existing systems proposed by other researchers, worldwide, especially the developing countries such as India. Uh, this is the methodology used for my research data collection, classification, pattern identification, prediction, and visualization. In the data collection part, uh, we are collecting the data from different websites like news sites, blogs, and social media, RSS Newsfeed. Uh, you may know that RSS Newsfeed really simple syndication type of web feed which allows users to access updates of the web. Let's see, this is the pseudo code uh, for the data collection. And then for the classification, we are using Navebuys algorithm. And uh, this is the pseudo code of Navebuys, the sample output of uh, named entity recognition. When we, when we are giving the articles of crime data, we can, uh, we can learn as well as using a uh, statistical method using these kind of algorithms. By using many kind of algorithms, we classify uh, name bias for the classification mechanism. And in pattern identification, we are using a priori algorithm. For the prediction, the tree, uh, decision tree concept is used for uh, prediction. It's simple to understand and interpret, and it's most uh, robust nature works well with uh, large data sets. This is the example of the decision tree. 
when we are leaving, considering uh, some uh, some questions, we can come to a conclusion and we can divide them and we can uh, get the decision tree. And the visualization techniques is the main concept uh, we are getting as an output. We can consider the numeric and category this color images and the gradient color image, color range, analyze only the data we want. Let's, it's our system architecture, online campaign records, and uh, you can see the document classification and entity extraction. Finally, our system. Uh, let's conclude our presentation. Our software predicts crime prone regions in Sri Lanka on a particular day. It will be more accurate if we consider a particular district or region. Also, another problem is that we are not predicting the time which the crime is happening. Since the time is an important factor in crime, we have to predict not only the crime prone regions but also the proper time. Acknowledge it. Uh, I would like to thank lecturers and staffs of our faculty of computing. General Surgeon Kutrawala and support which leads to the development of this research. Many thanks to parents, friends, and police officers who uh, participated with me with uh, discussions, countless discussions, feedbacks, helping to improve my work. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sutaran. Uh, maybe we can take a couple of questions from the audience. Interesting presentation. Uh, you mentioned that you uh, use web crawling and other techniques to uh, source uh, possible information from there, but uh, I think this can you elaborate like how you select where to get this information from? Uh, that means that in the website, uh, using the web crawling methods, we are going to analyze the art. Uh, that, that part, that technique is understood, but we have to crawl too. Because uh, I mean, that means uh, we, are, how we, are going to, we are going to feed the particular website. <coughs> that means uh, that mostly the news sites and we are, uh, uh, the thing is we are going to analyze the sites and we are going to feed, uh, yes, so feed those data. Yeah, automating. Yeah, so it's important to uh, have a system where either you identify using some historical data or something. Historical. Otherwise uh, you might not get the expected uh, uh, Feedback that you're looking at. That's that's why concerning. But the thing is, uh, uh, we are going to already we are going to feed the manual data as an automated one. That means we are going to get the online compliance also. Uh, so we can get those data and also using the social media articles and also the RSS news feeds and also the uh, particular uh, channels, channel sites and the news sites. We are going to gather those articles and we are going to use those algorithms to uh, to uh, I mean classify classify them right. I, I think uh, it's better if you could uh, look at literature and try to find out of course it might be country specific so uh, when it comes to crime so maybe I don't know if there's enough literature in Sri Lanka but then if you look at what's been done in this area in other countries where they have done similar things yes. and try to project that to Sri Lanka that will be probably a way ahead I would say uh, to improve on. I mainly took that uh, England system, that is the first mathematical uh, mathematical uh, system they proposed. Uh, I can ele elaborate there. Predict uh, crimes is very useful uh, if you uh, interview and get information from criminals. That is the, the criminal profiling. Uh, one gentleman was by uh, John Douglas was a violin that he, he has uh, interviewed criminals and classified uh, them into different uh, the crime categories and then uh, uh, mechanism to uh, predict crimes and also uh, to identify the criminals when there is no physical evidence in the crime scene. Okay, so the, getting information from the criminal side so why they do that, how they do that, how they organize these things will be more useful than just uh, studying the existing the, the crime details. Yes, sir. We are 
planning to improve that in the future also. Uh, that means sir, uh, criminal profiling and snatching for the particular clients and analyzing them using the uh, using the name of the person, location, and the type of the activity and their characteristics and their particular behavior will uh, help us to analyze the particular crimes. It is included in the future work, sir. Now we are uh, predicting the crime from a region, so it's uh, included in the future work. We are working on this. <coughs> Okay. Uh, thank you very much, Sutaram.